Hey guys, Millwreck77 here. We got the heater going because it is fucking cold. Uh, I noticed in the video I made of when I was using the splitter for the first time, uh, I didn't really show you guys anything, uh, what I did, uh, how I finished it up or anything. Well, I finished it up, but you know, I left out a couple of steps of what I did. So, I wanted to show you, I took the stands and I, uh, I welded them, if my camera will focus, uh, I welded it all the way around, all the way around, the light probably just makes it worse, but uh, I ground down all the metal, I had bare metal to bare metal, almost perfect conditions. So I laid some really nice beads of weld down on this thing. Anyway, and what I did to get the stickler to attach to that three quarter shaft is I went to Tractor Supply and I got me a, a half inch, this is a V pulley for a V belt. And I was going to use the sprocket, but the sprocket was twice the price. So I just centered this pulley onto this mating flange and uh, I gave it some good, uh, like, over an inch spot welds every couple of inches all the way around this thing. All the way around. And then they have these center universal adapters with a hole for whatever size shaft you want. It just slides in the hole on the pulley and you weld that on all the way around. And uh, yeah, she's keyed to the key on the shaft. And uh, she has two set screws on it, one there and one there, one's right on the set screw or, or on the keyway. Wow. Now one's right on the keyway and the one's on the other side. And that just slides over the shaft with uh, the key and the keyway groove right there and whatnot. I got a pillow block bearing and a housing. They didn't have another bearing, so I'm waiting to get the bearing. But this will slide on the shaft and uh, I'll have two of these right in row like that supporting the shaft and then I'll stick the stickler on the end there. And these two bearings uh, will keep the shaft from its wobbling bullshit. So that works, that works. Uh, what I got to do right now is unbolt the transaxle from the stand, unbolt the engine from the stand, and uh, take the sheet metal off this table. I'm going to give the table one more coat of brown paint, and I'm going to give all these sheet metal and all this stuff a coat of black. I actually found some cheap clear that I had laying around, good old pro form. I think this and hardener together is like $55. It's a four to one mix. So I got some old base coat there too. So I don't know what I'm gonna do. I think I'm gonna go with some spray paint, get a coat on the whole thing. Uh, I'm just gonna hit this with a grinder or a flat disc. And then I'm gonna 80 grit everything just so it's all flattened out and blah 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 80 grit and then uh, I'll probably hit it with a little bit of etch primer let that flash off hit it with spray paint and then I plan on taking some of that black and mixing it in with my clear and my hardener and then uh, giving it another coat or two of base mixed with clear kind of like a single stage but uh, not a single stage a homemade concoction of shit so uh, we'll try that out and see how that goes and uh, I'm going to mix a couple
couple uh, other colors together and make the uh, screw a different color. Other than that, we'll see how it goes. You gotta get this thing dis disassembled and sanded down. I figured I'd show you guys the welds and uh, how I attach the stickler to that shaft. So I'll bring you guys back maybe when I get some color on it. Hey guys, Millwreck back. I don't know what I did. <laughs> But uh, I mixed the black. I didn't uh, mix any painting with a clear coat. I just straight up clear coated it. Uh, I mixed the black. I sprayed. Uh, I sprayed both cans of rattle can all over it. Etch, then rattle can, and then base coat just for fun. And uh, I mixed them black with some gray metallic. And got like a gunmetal color, a uh, really dark black gunmetal color, and then I mixed up some colors I had. I always end up coming up with like girly colors. So uh, what I ended up mixing up for the uh, the point is uh, some like pearly purple. I don't, I don't know if this camera is really doing it justice, but it's like a really like blue pearl purple. There's some kind of metallic in there. And that was for the, uh, the point. And then that's what the point bolts to. And then as I was spraying the point, I'm like, hmm. And on the back side of the table side, I just took the purple and I kind of misted it. And, uh, I don't know. I just gave it a super light coat of that purple. It's probably really hard for you guys to tell. Well, there you go. I just gave that black, uh, mist coat of the purple over top of it. <clears throat> and uh, I want to the frame did the same thing so the point and its plate are going to be the straight up purple pearl and this one's just going to be really dark with a haze of uh, with a haze of purple on it I guess See if we can get you in some light. But uh I got a good three coats of clear on this side because this is the side that's gonna be facing up. And uh I got a bunch of coats on that. But man, four to one clear sucks. Uh I, I forgot I forgot the reason why I had that whole gallon in the basement. It just, it's like water. I don't, I don't understand how, uh, I would be afraid to wet sand above this shit. But, uh, yeah, man. I guess I've been getting spoiled using a bunch of, uh, high solids, two, two to one clears. But, uh, two to one's the way to go. I'll tell you that right now. Four to one might be cheaper. It might be shiny, but you ain't getting no, uh, really thick mills of UV protection on there. I mean, this is pretty thick and shiny, but I don't know, there's something about a fucking two to one mix that's better than a four to one. I'll tell you that much. You get what you pay for. But uh, yep, she's all nice and shiny in there. I tried to get a range I could, it was hard to get down in there. But uh, I got some in there. And, uh, yep. I even got this pulley here. And good enough for a log splitter. Custom built, custom color. So, maybe I'll get out here sometime tomorrow and uh, be able to bolt it back together. Who knows? But. I'll talk to you later, guys.